Good morning, world. I changed my shirt just in here so that you wouldn't project and say I'm not very girl, so. The projection of my neighborhood with police is <laughs> wrong. But they continue on the same path, which is extremely concerning. The reason it's a problem is because it is not in alignment with what the government would really want in the long run. So when you have the disease of addiction, you need to play the tape all the way through. When you do not play the tape all the way through and think about how things will turn out, that's when you make a mistake. Oh, I would love one. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Was it yesterday or the day before? I was up in Delaware and uh, at the other McDonald's on the south side of town. And I was given a free milkshake. It's the random acts of kindness that are just reassuring that humanity has still firmly entrenched in the world. People in Columbus, they've got a wrong idea. And it's because of the narrative that's been told by I'm a little disappointed in the price of this. So, I paid it. <laughs> what are you going to do? What about when there's no choices other than places like corporate America? when there's no competition. <laughs> Is it that important to meet stockholders' expectations on a quarterly basis again and again and again? That it bankrupts the people? Don't you eventually run out of customers if you do that? Because <laughs> they have no money? You would think corporate America would want the people to have money. Because then they can spend it. So it's this kind of not thinking things all the way through that just it's troublesome. I hope today that my neighborhood pulls out of their funk and does the right thing. Because I'm tired. 
I want to get back to living. My life. Instead of trying to fix other people's mistakes. Because that's all I've done. For almost three years. Bravely. Going against the world. Because I know I'm right. When you know you're right, you do not back down. What type of life do you think I would have if I backed down? Everybody in Columbus would assume the wrong thing about me. And I would never regain my reputation and standing in the community, which would be fine with Patty. She's fine with that, scarily. If she hadn't lied, <laughs> she'd have nothing to worry about, but she lied, and I've called her. And I called her out on it, and she doesn't like that. And well, you shouldn't lie. So if you want to be known as reputable and correct, then you have to do the correct thing. And my neighborhood has decimated <laughs> that, um, that belief. that I'm an upstanding citizen. My record proves it. So that's why I'm just really confused with why pegging everything on, on me is a viable and correct thing to do. CPD, it's time to put down the crack pipe. You've been running a million miles a minute. Frank Sofani, you're getting bad information. And you know the source, unless it just came from you. I don't know. But it's troublesome that you approached me now. Well, you approached me in person on the 23rd of June, and I've got you on tape and made a video on YouTube of you accusing me of driving on a suspended license. And I told you that's not true. And you said, yes, it is. <laughs> and I asked you the source of it. Wouldn't give it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a problem. There are a lot of problems with CPD. And I'll tell you what, Frank, <laughs> if you're going to be in a specialized unit <laughs> that is supposed to take additional due diligence, you should. Your claim is that I don't want to talk to police because of the one interaction where, as it turns out in the paperwork, you were there to pick me up and you hadn't done the wellness check first because it says so in the paperwork. It says transport was not able to occur.
So I'm not interested in answering your five questions. I'm interested in resolving crime. And that's something you don't do because you're involved, I think. You're a direct link with Patty. And Patty feeds you information and you didn't want to give up Patty as the source. Isn't that right, Frank? The whole world wants to protect Line Patty Ryan. So where's she getting her information from? This is called tracing back a story and finding out the truth. It's really simple. So I'm confused with why tracking back a story is so challenging for the police to do. You can do better. The citizens and residents of the city expect it instead of discriminating against a history of drug use where you just don't address crime to anyone that has a history. That's piss poor. And you can do better as the 14th largest city in the United States. We don't pay for unequal protection. I have faith. We'll see what happens.